All right, well, welcome everyone. It's about uh, 7.31. I would like to call to order the Fenton Township Board meeting on this 19th day of July, 2021. I ask everyone to please stand for the opening prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance. Trustee Goldman, would you lead us, please? Yes, sir. Lord, we're meeting here tonight to conduct matters of business. We ask that you guide our hearts and our minds in the spirit of fairness, right thought, and speech. Impart your supreme wisdom upon these activities so that our affair may reach a successful conclusion. We ask we thank you for being the source of our guidance tonight. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Mark. I appreciate it. Well, we have a short agenda tonight. I'm sure everybody's looking forward to that, I guess, especially Kate, since he has to study for the bar. Yes. <laughs> and Mark's studying for the bar, too. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, the bar. Bar. I don't call the fireside <laughs> the bar. <laughs> Clerk Crew, will you please call the roll? Lorraine. Present. Reed. Present. Katra. Present. Crew is present. Kessler. Here. Gopal. Here. Tucker is presently absent. You have six members present. Thank you. Sound like somebody. I'd like to know for the record that the township, our township attorney, Jack Belzer, our operations manager, Tom Broker, and fire chief <laughs> Bolts are also present. Uh, additionally, the following township officials are also present virtually. Our zoning administrator is Mike. Mike is on. I don't Mike's see, on. I don't see, I don't see Julie. I don't see no, Julie is not. And our township engineer, Alan Lawrence. And present. Tucker is present. Treasurer Tucker is present. <laughs> <laughs> with, his, with his Mickey D's. Drive through is kind of long, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't have a low rider here. What's going on? All right, Tom, will you detail the procedures for those attending tonight's virtual meeting? Yes. Uh, to the members of the public attending tonight's meeting, in person or via Zoom, please be advised that the meeting is being reported to be shown on public access television, Spectrum Channel 191. Recorded meetings are also posted on the Fenton Area Community Television YouTube channel. For those attending via Zoom, we ask that you keep your microphone muted until we reach portions of the meeting where public comment is allowed, at which time further instruction will be given. Tonight's meeting, there are no public hearings, therefore all public comment will be accepted near the end of the meeting. The materials are available for download on the Township's website at www.fentontownship.org. Thanks, Tom. The first business order is the approval of the agenda. Are there any requests to amend tonight's agenda? Hearing none, there is a, <coughs> a motion is in order to approve the agenda as presented. So moved. Support. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any further discussion? Harry Nine Clerk Crew, will you please call the roll? Yes. Crew votes yes. Katra? Yes. Kessler? Yes. Reed? Yes. Gopal? Yes. Tucker? Yes. Lorraine? Yes. Motion passes. Agenda stands approved as presented. The next business order is the meeting minutes. Included in, today, in your packet are the minutes from the July 6th regular meeting. Are there any corrections or requested revisions to the meet, to these meeting minutes? I had uh, sent Tom the immaterial language change this morning that was incorporated. So the change has been incorporated. It's already in the version that you have in front of us. Anything else? Hearing none, the mini uh, the meeting minutes stand approved as revised. Next business order is expenditures. Are there any questions from the board regarding any of the invoices? Hearing none, a motion is in order to approve the expenditures totaling $486,965.23 for payment. So moved. So moved. Our motion has been <laughs> moved and seconded. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, clear clerk crew, will you please call the roll? Yes. Reed? Yes. Gopal? Yes. Tucker? Yes. Kessler? Yes. Lorraine? Yes. Crew votes yes. Contra? Yes. Motion passes. Expenditures stand approved as presented. 
Next business in order is public hearing hearings. We have none. Uh, reports, uh, we have three of them this evening. Uh, first, <clears throat> located in your packet is the mid-year report from APM Mosquito Control. Um, and uh, I'm sure all of you have had a chance to read it. Uh, is there any questions from the board at all? As you know, we've had a lot of rain the last couple of weeks, so I know that um, in talking to people, we've had some mosquito issues. But if you've read this report, and uh, just a, a note for the public, as they know there's an issue and they are on top of it. So the, the four extra, I think four extra sprays. So I don't know how long we've been having to go, but this is the first time I've ever really had issues with mosquitoes at my place. I can remember. Back from Grand Blanc golfing, I can assure you they have mosquitoes there too. Right. <laughs> uh, they're everywhere. All right. Uh, any other uh, questions from the board? Yes, just to that. So, if people do have problems and they want to call somewhere, it should be that local number 810-766-9423. Yes, and they will actually come out and spray your yeah, personal. Well, they'll do barrier yeah, they'll do, spraying, you know, barrier barrier spraying. property. The only thing is, I think they, they have quite a backlog of requests right now. So, right. people um, are probably do it ahead of time. Make your appointments. Well, we're headed for only, well, we're headed for a couple more days of rain this week, so, which is not going to help. Uh, our next report uh, comes from Township Manager uh, Tom Broker. You know, I'll update the board on the Township Upgrade Projects. It's just a, a quick list I threw together, um, status report on our, the different technology upgrades that the board has approved. The computer network upgrade, it, replacing both the server and workstation computers is now done. The only thing we're still waiting on, the old beta server is running our old financial software until that BSNA conversion takes place next month. Um, and speaking of BSNA, financial software upgrade, we've had some preliminary meetings working on getting everything set, the uh, preliminary practice data conversions and the test data conversions all went very smoothly. So uh, we're on target for everything to be done in August. The meeting room TV studio upgrade uh, is obvious by what we have in our room. That's been done for a little while now. Um, we were using some borrowed equipment, but I think we have everything in place now. The large format printer scanner uh, was installed and became operational on June 30th. Uh, and we had a fair amount of use from it. We have not started any large archival projects yet. On the website redesign, we we're in the initial stages of that. We are in target for completion in the fall. And once everything is in place, any board members want to come in to get demonstrations or a tour, we we'll do that. Once we get things up. Yeah, I thought we could ask everybody in when we get things up and running to have everybody come in about 15 minutes early. And see what we've done. We'll have to do it. Tom and this board about two minutes. Good stuff. All right. Lastly, Tom, will you update the board? As you know, uh, we've had a lot of construction, road construction, a lot of congestion of traffic. Um, so uh, I asked Tom if you would update the board and the public on the traffic um, volume at the intersection of Owen and Linden Roads due to the construction. Uh, we, we approached the road, Genesee County Road Commission last week with concerns that the Owen Linden intersection, even in normal times, can be really congested. And now with the, the traffic being rerouted with the construction, it's really unmanageable. They agreed uh, after doing an analysis, by the end of the week, that intersection will be a three-way stop. It should, it's not gonna alleviate the number of cars going through, but it should make it a little more orderly for people. It's safer. Yeah. Um, <coughs> they will continue to monitor it because it's, they indicated it's not out of the question that can be Any questions for Tom? All right. Uh, are there any other committee reports to be made to the board this evening? Hearing none, we'll move on to the next business in order, which is communications. None. Adoption of ordinances. None. Unfinished business. None. Uh, moving on to new business, uh, we have the PEG grant application for Linden, Fenton, Lake Fenton, and Hartland Schools. Uh, operations Manager, but will you? Uh, Please update the board on the application. Yes, there's a, a memo explaining the numbers uh, in the board packet. Uh, the consortium has reviewed and 
approved the application recommended approved for funding up to $192,000. You see the breakdown of how that our share is a little over 80,000. Um, and the percentages are based on our relative <clears throat> and franchise fees that we collect. Uh, it's also worth noting that Heartland, Heartland Schools grant is funded 100% by Title and Township. So the percentages are a little bit different than what you see because the dollars there actually are, are, are how they break out. As in past approvals, usually the final costs are a little lower than what's approved because price reductions occur between the time proposals were put together and when the equipment was actually ordered. And so the recommendation is to approve an up to amount of understanding that we'll only be asked to pay the actual Any questions for the report? All right, hearing none, I'll, I need a motion to approve funding for the PEG grant application of Fenton Area Public Schools, Lake Fenton Community Schools, Linden Community Schools, and Heartland Consolidated Schools up to a total amount of $80,235.13 as presented. So moved. Support. Motion's been moved and seconded. Is there any further discussion? Clerk Crew, will you please call the roll? Yes, sir. Patrick. Kessler? Yes. Krupos? Yes. Gopal? Yes. Tucker? Yes. Lorraine? Yes. Reed? Yes. Motion passes. Great. Next on our new business, we have local road project, crack ceiling golf viewpoint subdivision. Uh, again, I'll look to operations manager broker to update the board. Sure. This is a rather small project, but it's one of the roads identified by Lawrence Engineering and the Road Commission has been a good candidate for crack ceiling to preserve the pavement. Uh, we're looking at two streets in Gulf View Point, Gulf View Circle, and Marjorie Court. The total cost in the proposal was $2,100, $4,100, and that is just the labor cost for the Road Commission. The crack ceiling material will be built separately based on how it's actually used. Um, I think it included in the packet not only the breakdown of that project, but also where it fits in our overall uh, budget for this year, and we're still uh, well on target to stay within our budget with other projects that have been approved, plus a few small things that have been approved. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Is there any questions from the board? Okay, hearing none, I need a motion to approve the Genesee County Road Commission's cost proposal for crack ceiling streets in the Gulf View Point subdivision as presented. So moved. Second. Motion's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? Hearing none, Clerk Crew, we please call the roll. Yes. Cobalt? Yes. Tucker? Yes. Doreen? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Crew votes yes. Reed? Yes. Kessler? Yes. Motion passes. Yes, Bob. Next under new business is uh, Support Emergency Operations Plan Update. Uh, Jeff Wilson, uh, the Emergency Man uh, Management Manager, sent me a letter dated July 12th asking me to update our SOP so that the township would be eligible for financial assistance under Section 19 of the Public Act 390. Uh, Section 19 assistance is funding or direct state assistance that may be provided to eligible uh, counties and municipalities when the governor determines that local efforts to protect the health and welfare of the public has been exhausted as a result of a disaster event. Uh, Chief Holtz, are you going to go ahead talk to that at all? Well, it's just pretty much um, we did it back in 2019. The, the, but not current because the, we have a new supervisor since the last time it was done. Right. That's why they requested me now. Okay. Any questions from the board at all? Have any changes been made to it from the prior version? Only some of the contact names in the, the plan. Everything else was, is exactly it was two years ago. Great. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, resolution number 2021-15, Clerk Proof, will you please present the resolution in yes. very condensed form? Very <laughs> condensed, because the length, it's four pages, it is similar, almost identical. So as clerk, I'll wait the reading of the resolution and move the resolution for approval. All right. Uh, so 
I need a. Oh, you're. You're going to make the motion. You set forth the motion. I set forth. All right. And I will support. Need that. a second. All right. Motion's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All right. Third crew, please call the roll. Kessler. Yes. Crew votes yes. Reed. Yes. Lorraine. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Tucker. Yes. Copel. Yes. Resolution passes. All right. Next business in order is board comment. Is there anyone on the board who has additional comments or concerns? I have a question about um, so the Republic services. It seems like they have done some catch up in driving around the township. It does seem like I don't see as many barrels left and, and yard waste yeah. left at the side of the road. Has that calmed down at all with the constituents? Quite a bit, I would say. Um, this morning, I think we had maybe half a dozen uh, voicemail messages. It's just some sporadic misses here and there, some of which may or may not have been people who missed their, their deadline and just, just don't call it when they had missed. But, um, <laughs> but no, I think they brought in some additional resources and they have made a very concerted effort to get things caught up and we are so much closer than we were. And so I think we're, it was late at the end of the <clears throat> That's a good question because yeah, we know. have had a lot of calls. Yep. I think uh, Julie told me one week we had like 170 some calls, and if we if we're down to five, progress. It's progress because <laughs> I know it's been an issue. Any other comments at all? All right. The next business order is public comment on agenda or non-agenda items. We will now open the meeting for public comment on agenda or non-agenda items. Uh, is there anyone in the audience? would like to address the board so can you step up all right can you step up to the podium we would like you to state your name and your address for the record um, yeah and we chris, ask you to keep it under three minutes no it's uh this chris ward uh, i'd like to talk about cider creek first of all i'd like to say thanks to the planning commission and the board for uh putting it back on public comment and i really appreciate that for taking your time with it we went through all their uh, qualifying conditions and they decided to have more public input. So I just appreciate you guys taking the time to uh, think about it and, you know, and uh, I think it's important. I, I think a good um, deal would be like a five acre horse equestrian park or two acre lots, bigger lots, you know, I think that'd be a good, uh, what do you call that, where everybody agrees, you know. So thank you. All right. Thank you, Chris. Is there anybody else in the audience? And looking at <laughs> looking at those, uh, moving on to those who joined us tonight via Zoom. Um, I don't see anybody on. No, besides Hannah. So I think Tom, you don't need to explain the process. Um, is there anyone else that would like to address the board? No other public comment? All right, it's now 7.48. If there's nothing else, I say good night and the meeting is adjourned. like that. I'm gonna beat you one of these three. I got to go see my daughter. If I get a report on it every day, it's like our six shooting, I can have it. Yeah. If I get the one from Densey County, then it's actually in the fall last year. We had one year on the fall.
Short and sweet. What's that? What's that? Okay. Okay. 